Michelle Segrist with Maintenance Technology Magazine, and we're here at the SMRP conference in Jacksonville, Florida, and we're with Mark Cote, and he's with CB Fleet, and he gave a fantastic presentation to the audience yesterday. And can you tell us a little bit about it? What was the title of the presentation, and what was the, the core message? Okay. So uh, the, the subject was about ma matrix that matters. And really the, uh, the concept was uh, how did we uh, establish a framework and the foundation to improve um, the organization throughout uh, maintenance reliability and really to do a link between the, the metrics and how we build a framework to, to make it happen. Okay, that's great. So what are some of the key takeaways that you hope that the audience came away with and okay. will apply when I mean, they get home? Yeah, I would say, you know, it's uh, it's creating the building blocks, which uh, it, it really doing an assessment of your situation, having champion to be able to be responsible of a, what we call the maintenance pillar. So we had identified six pillars. And from these six pillars, we uh, created processes and KPI link for these uh, specific processes. Okay, good. And Mark is going to be featured in the November issue of Maintenance Technology in our Voice from the Field section. And we talked about, when we had our conversation, we talked about those six pillars. And can you just briefly yep. run those very, down for us? Yep, very easy. So the, the first one is the people, backslash training, most important thing actually. Mm -hmm. uh, the second one is materials management. The third one is workload management. The fourth one is uh, basic care. The fifth one was uh, asset reliability. And last but not the least, the support system. And so how do all those work together to improve reliability I mean they're uh, you know they're all very important people mm -hmm. material uh, scheduling so uh, they're all key to the success of the organization but naturally uh, they're all different to some extent but they all uh, for the success of the, we all need to work on, on them to be successful okay good um, when you're working with customers and clients and end users out there in the field uh, maintenance and reliability professionals what are some of the uh, biggest problems that they have that you're able to help them solve? And what are some of their headaches or what keeps them up at night? That's a, that's <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's um, the, the biggest challenge. Uh, I mean, uh, if we go from a maintenance technician uh, to uh, reliability or control engineer, is, is naturally everybody's got their, their day to day to function. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, as part of what we're building, we, we're building a game plan or strategy, mission, whatever you call it. And, and to be able to be aligned and stay on track, even though your reality is focused on, on, the, on the moment. Mm -hmm. So I would say the, the biggest challenge for that could be applicable to everybody is to, to be able to stay on track with the game plan mm -hmm. and not being distracted by the day by day. And that's going to be tough. I'm sure. I, and, and That's not, job. <laughs> sounds easy, but maybe it's yeah, exactly. more difficult. So, um, you and your co tell us a little bit about CB Fleet and what the company does. Yeah, CB Fleet first is not a transportation company. Yeah. Even though it sounds, sounds like it, yeah. Yeah, so Fleet was actually the uh, name of the owner, and Fleet has been around for 150 years. The site has been That's around. An old company. Yeah. That's a very old company. Yeah. And the site has been around for 50 years. So, and uh, Fleet is a leader mainly in the U.S. for premium healthcare product, mm -hmm. and we do export in different countries as well. Uh, but it's uh, it's been a very successful company. You know, if you're around for 150 years, we've, you've done a lot of good things. Of course, of course. <laughs> yeah. that's, a, that's a sign of a sustainable company. Yeah, exactly. It's also growing. Well, so, mm -hmm. um, uh, so have you? What have you learned? Being here at the SMRP conference, have yeah. you you've attended some sessions and, and got some takeaways from other presenters? Yes, I mean, um, and I mentioned it during my presentation. I mean, it's um, to stay in shape. You know, for any types of uh, you always need to resource yourself. You know, when the conference is uh, you get books, you get speakers, people, mm -hmm. you interact with people. So um, I mean, you just need to stay e energized to be able to. To continuously improve and get some new ideas and, and resource to group. Okay, good. Well, thank you so much for spending Thanks, time Michelle. with us, and we look forward to reading all about you in the magazine next all month. Right. Thank you. Thanks.